late bloomer here again. Uh, okay, I just did a an update on my crazy roommate, but now uh, I want to update you guys on something more positive, a lot more positive uh, for me. And uh, I just came back from a, I guess you could call it a date. It is a date with uh, this this girl that I uh, met at the local mall a couple of weeks ago. Um, if you guys are interested in how I met her, I actually uh, was in the process of getting th this case for my new iPhone 5S, which I just recently got, which is what I'm shooting this video with. And, uh, you know, so I was at that, that uh, uh, cell phone kiosk, and uh, this cell phone kiosk in the mall is uh, was in front of like this, right in front of this lens crafters, uh, uh, up, you know, gl glasses and eyewear store. Um, so you know, I was just joking around with the cell phone guy. Apparently, the cell phone guy, which is one of my friends or acquaintances, knows one of the guys that works at lens crafters. And, uh, I noticed that this one girl working at the counter was really, really cute. I mean, with her glasses and everything, I really, I really, I really, really liked her. So, you know, I was feeling confident that day, so. I asked the, you know, the cell phone guy's friend, which is the guy that works at LensCrafters, who apparently knows her, for, you know, to see uh, if I could find out her name. Now I was feeling confident, so, you know what? Let me know her name. I think she's kind of cute. So the dude says her name, which is Sonia. Which is her name. Uh, so, okay. After he, after the, the lens crafter worker leaves, I approach lens crafters. I approach the counter. Then I come up to, to, to her and I say, You must be Sonia. You know? And she was amazed at, at how I knew, like, <laughs> what her name was. And I, you know, I was feeling really uh, flirtatious and playful, so I told her a little, a uh, little birdie told me, whatever, you know, and she laughed. Uh, you know, lo and behold, I got her number. Uh, the week after, I, I text her and I see if she wants to hang out. Uh, to my disappointment, she uh, says she couldn't, and she told me she was dating someone. So, okay. Anyway. I go, well, I'm not really asking you out for a date, just want to hang out, whatever, you know. So, fast forward to this weekend, I text her again. Uh, tonight, last night, really, really, because it's like 2 and 3 in the morning now. Um, so I tell her, you know, what, what's up, you want to hang out, want to watch a movie or grab a cup of coffee? So she responds, let's do the coffee. Okay, I go, great, great. So I, uh. Met her up at the mall, picked her up at 9.30. Um, right when I first... You know, I mean, I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I, I am kind of... I have this playful side that I don't, I don't really show in these videos, but... Uh, yeah, uh, I'm serious for the most part, but I also know how to have fun. So, right when I, right when I meet her, like, I mean... She was, like, sitting down with her back towards me in front of the mall. In front of the mall entrance. There's, like, this little bench. So I'm coming from behind, and you know I say, "Hey, are you Sonia?" She turns around. Okay, it is her. So I go up to her. I immediately hug her, and I do a bear hug and I lift her a little bit. You know, just to just to get the mood going, I guess. So I took her to Starbucks, and uh, you know, uh, we grab like a chocolate chai latte. Uh, so we talk, we flirt around, you know, yeah. I really make eye contact, eye contact, eye contact with her, and I start, you know, I start like, you know, feeling her hand, and uh, I took her hand and like, you know, just caressed it, you know, and I was really flirting around with her a lot, and I was really glad that it was working out because she was letting me hold her hand and like, eventually letting me put my arm around her and you know, caressing her side with my arm around her. So you know, we talk, we talk a lot, and uh, you know, we just flirt a lot. So after that, after like an hour of flirting at Starbucks, you know, I told her, you know, maybe she get something to eat, cause you know, uh, 
she works at the mall, by the way. Uh, you know, after her shift at the at the mall, I mean, I'm, I'm sure she was kind of hungry. So we go to this uh, uh, like Mexican place. So we go up there again. I, I buy her some like you know she. I told her to order whatever she wants. So she ordered like some some nine dollar nachos and a. Uh, what is it? Maybe water for us. So it wasn't really that expensive. Um, so yeah, we flirted even more, and like for, by this time, I'm I'm able to like just kind of neck do some a little necking with her and and you know what it's about time I've, I've uh, been able to post about something good uh, after all the crazy things that have been happening recently this one was a really bright spot so I was being able to neck with her and you know what she is actually hotter than I remember uh, I remember when we walked into that bar just like a couple hours ago really the Mexican Mexican restaurant bar I I really when I said this I really meant it meant it because I really really meant it. <laughs> I told her we're we're probably the hot the cutest couple here and you know I, I made her laugh and everything and you know everything was going well. And uh yeah so I was able to neck her and you know just just hold her hand a lot. Actually I can still smell the the floral like fruity kind of like really pleasant smell of her lotion on her hands like even though I've washed my hands already I can still smell it and it smells feminine and good <laughs> so yeah um, so you know I really wanted to kind of have sex with her <laughs> after all we're all adults here right I'm 30 years old Sonia is uh, 28 but we both look younger than we are which is a good thing um but you know she wanted to. She, she says she wants to take things slow, and you know I'm 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 not uh not against that. Although to be honest, if I if I could have sealed the deal tonight, I really would have. But hey, she's a good girl, and she's a pretty girl, and it's been a while since I've had this kind of like connection. So yeah, I drive her to her, her house, and uh, I tried to get a kiss on the lips, but you know I guess she was playing hard to get her, you know like. I guess that's she doesn't want to be like that easy, which which I don't mind really, because a girl that attractive to me shouldn't really be that easy. So, in any in any other situation, I would have felt slighted, but not this time. So I, I drop her off. Um, so I, I drive back to my city and uh, text her, saying I I had a lot of fun. Uh, it was a great time, and uh, I would see her again. And she texts me back like a couple minutes later, and saying, "You know, you know, I really, uh, saying she really uh, had a good time as well." And uh, you know, thank you for everything, and told me good night with a smiley face. So, so that's that's a little update about you know something positive happening <laughs> uh, amongst this craziness that's happening recently, but. Uh, this is a really good positive thing that's happening, and I was just wanted to update you guys on that. And wow, Sonia's a really attractive girl. <laughs> um, all right, folks, a little good, a little bit of good news. You know, we're due, right? Hopefully, more good news comes. All right, take care, folks. Late bloomer, signing out.